Hi, I'm Pat Brown, comedian and host of Pat Brown Knows It All. This is my new show where I indulge in one of my favorite activities. No, it's not having a cat watch me eat chocolate pudding in a bathing suit. How'd you know about that? <laughs> Don't judge me. I always ask for consent first. It's my other favorite activity, watching documentaries. I review, recommend documentaries, and I'll let you know which ones are good and give you my funny take, and hopefully it will help you in some way in your life. Or at the very least, it'll build your know-it-all status at barbershops and hair salons. Hey, do you know the uh, World One Trade Building? Yeah. It's 1,775 feet. Mm. You know why they built it that high? Why? Because it's also the uh, year America got its independence. Girl, America got its independence in 1776. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know that. Uh, I just don't count the tip. I don't, nobody counts the tip. What are documentaries, you ask? Wow, 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 wow. We are starting from the basics, aren't we? Well, it's just like my teacher said, there are no dumb questions, just dumb people. And they put them all in my class. Of course she got fired. Just think of documentaries as non-fiction movies with a tour guide. All right, everybody come down. Check this building out, check this building out. You're gonna enjoy this. Right here, hey, this building right here, this building right here, a very famous comedian lives in this building. Yeah, the incomparable Pat Brown lives in this building. I'm so sorry, but who is Pat Brown? I don't know, do, do you know who Pat Brown is? Wow, wow, that's fucking hurtful. I learned a lot from documentaries. Because of Food Inc. and Super Size Me, I learned. No! And because of The Keepers, a documentary about the murder and cover up of a Catholic nun, I learned don't trust men in robes. None of them. Don't even trust men in smocks. It's the same thing as just a robe that's backward. Don't trust dogs in trench coats? Yeah, I'm talking to you, McGruff, the crime dog. Something suspicious about that dude. But I'm so excited to tell you about this latest documentary. This new documentary is about music master me. Remember, there used to be an ongoing debate who was the better artist, Michael Jackson or Prince. After watching this new Netflix documentary, Quincy, about the musical career of Quincy Jones, a musician, a writer, composer, super producer, a better question might be, who had a better music producer? Quincy Jones produced Michael Jackson's Off The Wall album, the best-selling urban album of all time. He produced Thriller, the best-selling album of all time. This is Thriller, Thriller night. There ain't no sex chance to run beast. Ow, ow! You remember that? You remember that? You remember the actress in the, uh, the video, Ola Ray? Yep, I remember it too. That's when I discovered I was gay. I didn't come out into the bad album though. Quincy Jones is a musical savant. He has touched you. He has touched you musically in some way and you don't even realize it. For me, the eye opener was he wrote the theme song to Sanford and Son. Do, 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 do. Do 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 You know how the song goes. Anyway, I equate Quincy Jones's body of work to looking out of the Empire State Building window. Wow, he did all that and the Chrysler Building too. Just check out all his accomplishments. He has done all this, and he's a baby maker. He has seven kids, so he's accomplished all this with his pants off. What stands out to me is Quincy's desire to learn. He was a student of music, first and foremost. He studied so many different disciplines of music, which enabled him to eventually become a master. So watch the documentary, Quincy. You will love it. Also, take care of your health. Diabetes almost killed Quincy Jones. You would think when you become that rich, you could just pay somebody to have your disease. Hey, what's up? How's our AIDS? Aren't you taking medication? Uh-uh, no, 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 I'm, I don't want it back. Man, I'm only behind one payment. Don't bring it over here. No, do not bring it over here. I'll, I'll PayPal you. You got cash app or something? Man, you stressing me. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm also paying a dude that got hypertension. Hey, please comment below, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe.